Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I have got for you a little bit of a different video. It's different because I made this up myself. I don't know if anyone on YouTube has done this video. Probably not because it is a bit strange, but there has been the challenge of the ugly photo shoot challenge video that's been going across YouTube. If you haven't seen it, do you even watch YouTube videos? Probably not. Um, and it's basically where some, this is not this video by the way, but it's basically where um, someone goes out, a YouTuber, finds ugly locations and tries to make it into kind of a good photo. My idea was to use my house and I have to take a picture in every single room of this house and try and make it into a decent photo, like an Instagram worthy photo. So some rooms will be quite easy. For example, maybe the living room, cause there might be some nice areas like I'm in the living room right now and this would be a decent picture. Um, rooms like the bathroom, the kitchen, things like that, or the shoe rack room might be a little bit more tricky. So it's just trying to make them look worthy for your Instagram. I do post a lot on my Instagram, so if you wanna go and follow me, see these pictures, see all the other random stuff that I post, then go and follow me on Instagram. My name is Georgie Carr, a lot of E's in there. I'll link it down below in the description, so just go and click that. Give me a good old follow. And that's basically what this video is going to be. I'm really excited. I'm not a photographer by any stretch at all, but I do really like photography and I kind of do wish that I'd taken it at A level because that's something that I am interested in. But I'm gonna give it a good go. I'm gonna try and see what I can do. But yeah, I'm not sure if this video has been done before, probably because it is a bit random, it probably hasn't. But it, if it has, I do apologize. That's what this video is. So please do subscribe. I've got loads more ideas coming on this channel very soon. Hopefully this is not a massive fail. Hopefully, but basically the aim of this video is to take a picture in every room, but you have to make it look like you're in that room. So you can't just go in the bathroom, find a white wall and take a picture. People need to know that you're in the bathroom. So I've got some ideas. I'm back. So I have just gone. Sorry, my hair's an absolute mess from the last photo I just did, um, which you'll see at the end. But I've just gone, spent the last half an hour going around each room of the house and taking a picture. It was actually a lot harder than I thought because obviously you can take a half decent picture in every single room, but you have to make it look like it's the room. And obviously I can just take a selfie in every single room and just be like, yeah, that's done. But I wanted to do something a little bit different in each one. Some of them are a little bit pooey and some of them are all right. But this is my kind of attempt at this challenge that I have created for myself. Um, so the first room I started in was the one I'm in now, which is the living room. And I decided to kind of show that I was sitting on a sofa and I went and sat on one of our blue chairs that we have in the living room. I'll insert the photo here. And basically I just wanted it to be a shot that was from like looking onto me on the sofa. I didn't want to kind of take a selfie or anything. It just shows that I'm on the sofa. There's no meaning to this picture at all. There's no meaning to any of the pictures really. Um, but I couldn't take, I didn't have anyone to take the pictures for me. I'm home alone right now. So I had to take the pictures on my own. So set a little timer up. Um, but this is the first picture and overall I'm kind of happy with it, but I'll leave a rating of the picture that I personally rate it on the screen now. The next room I went into was the kitchen and oh yeah, the second picture that I decided to take was in front of the oven. So it showed the whole kitchen and also me holding the oven. To be honest with you, I don't know how that looks because I haven't looked back at the picture yet, but, and it was quite far away, but I'm not really feeling that picture. I don't think it looks very good, but I'm gonna try my best with editing. Obviously you will see the picture right now. I don't because I haven't even looked at them or edited them or anything like that. So I'll have a look at it, see what it looks like, and then I might um, have a better opinion. But like I said, I'll leave a score for each picture on the screen as they come up. And the third picture from the kitchen was actually me looking into the oven. I wanted to do kind of different styles of pictures and obviously photography isn't just taking a picture of something directly as it's there. You can take pictures of mirrors, um, reflections, things like that. So that's what I wanted to do. And we'll see how that turns out. It doesn't really demonstrate it's a kitchen necessarily, but I suppose you can be a little bit clever with it and it depends how you interpret 
um, this challenge. The next room that I went into was the understairs cupboard. The understairs cupboard scares the hell out of me. That cupboard is scary because A, it's got a million spiders in it. B, it's really dark in there unless you turn the light on. But it's just a very small space. So I didn't really want to get in the cupboard. So I kind of took a picture of me sort of half in the cupboard, half out. And I'm not sure how I feel about this picture. It's probably one of my least favourite pictures. But this is what it looks like here right now. Um, I'm just chilling on the floor really. Uh, I was a little bit scared, a little bit worried as I've just said, but overall, you know, I've not got such a high rating for this picture. The next picture that I took was in the hallway. This is the picture that I took and it's basically of me next to a collage of photos. Now I actually really like this picture because I think it demonstrates um, or shows me obviously like a selfie but it also shows all the other photos that have been taken that we've got up on the wall and it shows a bunch of different memories so it's a lot of memories in one photo and I really like that so that's definitely one of my favourite photos that I took I thought it was a little bit more creative it doesn't necessarily show that this is the hallway but that was in the hallway so you can let me off and then I went through to the dining room and obviously it's a dining room. I wanted to show that, you know, that was a dining room, has a table in it. We, our dining room table actually converts into a pool table. I am also going to be doing a video where I have like a pool match with either my dad or my brother and that's going to go up on my channel at some point, but I am going to be doing that. But at that point in time, it was a normal table. So I decided to lie on the table and literally I was so confused I didn't know what to do I didn't know which way to face and I wasn't really feeling the vibe of the photo to be honest with you but something came out of it and it was okay it wasn't you know my best efforts but I tried I then headed into the porch the porch is kind of the little entrance way when you enter my house that is what you will see the porch way and there's kind of like a little corner of the porch and I decided to take a picture of that. I actually really like this. I think it looks quite nice. There's different colours from the glass as you can see and there's also that kind of red weird box thing next to me. I quite like this because the reason why I like it is because it's a bit different. Like you don't usually see somebody take a picture with such weird items. Um, and they're not, you know, your everyday objects or your everyday items. They are quite different. So I quite like that. It is a little bit different. I then trotted all the way upstairs. I didn't take a picture of me on the stairs. I do apologise. Um, and I went into the bathroom. So the bathroom was the one which I was pretty sure of what I was going to do. I do actually usually take all of my pictures or all of my selfies in the bathroom because it's got quite a white wall. So I tend to take my selfies with the white wall behind me. So I'll insert a picture of what I would usually do in the bathroom on the screen now so you can see kind of how I would usually um, take a selfie if I was in the bathroom. But today I decided I'm going to go all out. We're going to get the bath in there. We're going to get the sink in there. I'm not too sure if the toilet's in there. Kind of don't really want that in there, but we'll see. And I'm kind of like sat in the bath with my legs hanging over the top, facing away from it. And I think that could symbolise something. Like that picture could symbolise something or mean something if you really wanted it to. So if you think you know what that means, then comment down below. But I don't, I don't really, what to me that meant is I'm trying to do a challenge, sit in the bath and take a picture kind of thing. But it could mean something if you wanted it to. Maybe. So I'm quite happy with that one. I actually rate that higher than some of the others. So I'm very pleased with that one. It's one of my favourites. I then went through into my mum's room and as you can see, I used reflection in two ways. So I took a picture of myself in the mirror. I do do that sometimes on my Instagram. And that means that you can see my face and the front part of me, but there's also reflection of me in the mirror from behind. So you can see literally my whole body. So you can see the front and you can see from behind. And I quite like that, but you could also see the room as well. So you've got a picture of me in all angles and you've got a picture of the room. So overall, I'm fairly happy with that. It's not the best picture, but I was playing with what I had. I then went into my brother's room and this is probably, you know, I didn't want to, you know, mess around too much because he would kill me. Um, but at the same time, I wanted to get a picture. So I went and I thought, oh, there's a guitar. So I grabbed his guitar and this is the picture that I came up with. I wasn't sure what to do, so I thought I'll just hold the guitar. His room is a little bit messy, which made it quite difficult to do this challenge, to be quite honest with you. But 
we made it we made it um so i'm not sure if i like the picture or not because i haven't actually edited it yet so i think if i edit it you can make pictures look so much better with editing it's honestly unreal so we'll see what it turns out but again i'll leave my rating for this picture on the screen and then finally i went into my room and i'm actually really really happy with this picture and i thought you know what i do take a lot of selfies in my room so what picture can i take i went and I laid on my bed so i laid flat out on my bed and i just put my hair out next to my head as you can see in the picture and i just really like how that looks it makes me almost look like an octopus or like a mermaid or something I don't know why or like Ursula who the heck's Ursula I'm not really too sure that just came out of my mouth um I look like something so I just quite like that picture and I think with some editing that can look quite nice so yeah that was my final picture and I was quite happy with that one overall my final thoughts for this challenge I think I did okay I think you can make awful pictures look so much better from just editing them so I still have yet to edit them but you would have seen them edited so you know overall um i'm not too sure if i've done all right or not it, you know you can be ju the judge of that but it was an interesting challenge obviously if you're a youtuber and you want to try it as well then please do because it's nice to see um people's rooms and their houses a little bit more i think that's a way of doing a house tour without doing a house tour even though i am going to do a house tour as well anyway but yeah very, very i'm quite happy with my efforts for this challenge um it is difficult because i had to take all the pictures on my own so what i did was i set my phone up because all the three all of these pictures are taken on my phone so i set the camera up and i actually filmed it so i filmed me taking the pictures and then i screenshotted the pictures if you know what i mean so i screenshotted the video to get the pictures that i wanted so it was a little bit tricky a little bit difficult i think if i had somebody else there then i could do a little bit better maybe um but i do tend to work a lot better when i'm on my own because i know exactly what i want but if you enjoyed this challenge then please give it a thumbs up i have got some more videos to come that are kind of made up by myself or just you know your typical challenge videos so stay tuned for that stay subscribed i would really appreciate it if you could subscribe and like this video please so thanks for watching and see you very soon goodbye